Hi there, this is Srikanth Sari. So in this lesson, uh, we are going to learn about uh, uh, how to create uh, variables in uh, C programming. Okay. So in the last lesson, we have uh, introduced ourselves to how to write uh, small and tiny programs. Okay. So let me launch the IDE first. So as we know that the IDE we are using here is Turbo C IDE. So first, let us create a new uh, file and new uh, window. Here, okay. So let's save our file as vars.c okay and then let's have a couple of header files so all the basic stuff hash include st.h so hash include conio.h so as we have seen in the last lesson the header files are very essential which were needed to be added at the beginning of the program such that uh, it acts as a reference to the compiler that certain functions are being used in the program which were stored under this header files here, okay so here, um, if you want to create a variable in C, so there are uh, uh, certain uh, specific rules. Okay. So why do we need a variable? So variable is a very uh, basic uh, element uh, which is used to store some data. Okay. So after all, we are writing a, a C programs to collect some data and process those data and give some results. Okay. That is the sole purpose of uh, any programmer. Uh, who want to implement uh, or execute uh, some task which ha which handles some data okay so here a variable is a basic element uh, which holds the data here okay so first and foremost let's uh, uh, define a variable how it uh, how we are going to define a variable in c so int is a data type here so uh, about data types uh, we'll see in the next lesson so uh, until now you take int as an uh, data type uh, which specifies the the integer values okay or which holds the integer values so to have a variable of type uh, integer so you can have something like this int my int okay so this is a, a valid uh, variable name so if you want you can assign some value to it like this my int is equal to 10 okay so this is the way uh, to declare uh, sorry to define a variable and assign some value into that variable here so here my int is a is a variable of type integer which holds the value 10 here okay so in the same way you can have another variable my int 2 is equal to 20 so you can uh, define and declare in a single statement here okay so that means uh, my int uh, uh, holds the value 10 and my int 2 holds the value 20 okay so there are uh, so as we said that there are specific uh, uh, rules for defining a variable so we cannot uh, do arbitrarily in whichever way we want it to do okay the first rule is that a variable name uh, should start with the variable name should start with a letter or underscore letter or underscore okay so that means uh, you can have a variable name like this again i'm uh, declaring another variable my or else let's say my where okay so if you take this variable so it is starting with the letter or else you can also have also you can have a variable name like this underscore my where here okay so both these variable names are valid here but you can say something like this if you say something like this one and uh, my where so if you run this program now, so this is the error here okay so previously we have uh, signed a variable to here okay so if you observe here uh, if you are saying something like this uh, by one uh, if you are having a di uh, letter or a digit sorry instead of having a letter in the beginning if you are having a digit in your variable name so it leads to an error here this is perfectly valid here so you don't get any error okay okay and then uh, the second rule of thumb is should not have any blank spaces in between the 
variable names here okay so if so if you want to have, if you want to declare a variable uh, like this int uh, my and var here okay so or else uh, you can say already we have that uh, my var too okay so this is not a valid uh, variable name here okay so run the program so you, you get no error here okay so everything works well so in the same way uh, the third rule is should not have any special characters except underscore okay that means you are not allowed to have any other special characters other than underscore in your variable name. You should not have any other special symbols. I can say special characters or special symbols. Okay, special characters or special symbols. Other than underscore here. Okay, so you're not allowed to have. Uh, them. So if you say something like this, okay. So or else, uh, so if you say something like this, int uh, my var three, and if you say uh, add symbol or dollar symbol semicolon, so you are not allowed to have uh, character other than underscore. If you say underscore or at the beginning or at the ending, okay. So it works with all these uh, all these variables, uh, all these rules when you are defining a variable, okay. So if you keep in mind uh, all these things, uh, so and define your uh, uh, variables according to your requirement, so you don't get any error here. Okay. So there is one more. Uh, it's always a good practice. So never have uh, simple variables like int a or uh, int uh, b, something like this. Okay. So this is always a bad practice. So you need to you need to be very specific. Okay. So if you want, if you're calculating, uh, if you're writing a program to calculate uh, area of uh, a square, okay. So you have to say, uh, you have you have to have uh, some meaningful names like this. So int side, or you can say int uh, length, okay. So int length, something like this. So you need to have a very uh, meaningful uh, name. So one more, uh, the one last thing is. So one more rule uh, when you are uh, when you are writing a, a variable name or defining a variable names is that uh, should not use should not use keywords so should not use keywords or uh, reserve words in as variable names here okay so that is another important rule okay so if you say uh, int and for here okay so for is a reserved word uh, in C uh, which you learn in the future lesson the for is used uh, when you are uh, uh, writing a loop in your program okay. so for is the keyword reserved for that purpose so if you use a reserved word uh, there are 32 reserved words in C okay so if you google it uh, for about saying that reserved words in C you find a, a set of reserved words uh, list of reserved words in C which are uh, numbered in 32 so if you if you say something like this, for two or something like this, okay. So these are the basics uh, to how to define a variable in C. Uh, what are the things you need to keep in mind while defining uh, variables in C, okay. So see you in the next lesson.